All right, in this video, we're going to be fixing this issue where this model always appears when you go to the profile page. The first thing that I did wrong was using model instead of using model. So we're going to just go ahead and make sure that we use it correctly here. And <clears throat> now we need to fix this banner taking up all of the space. So let's go ahead and figure out the solution for that now. So first and foremost, for the label banner image, we want to have this as a class as well. Relative and an MB6. So if you go back in now, you can see this looks a bit better already. And then outside of that, I'm just going to make sure that we have this is all styled up nicely here. And then we have this profile photo here as well. So I'm just going to make sure we have this properly styled. Perfect. And then we're just going to go ahead and make sure we have it styled nicely here as well. There we go. And then <clears throat> for the error message, we will leave that as it is. I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that we have everything in this profile picture upload here properly styled and set up. For light mode, I think where we have this gray color, maybe we should change that a bit. So let's go ahead and see what the styling is. I'm going to put this to the side. And then I think for light mode here, we can just say uh, border white for that. And I think again down here, that's fine. And I think we really just need to work on saving the data and also displaying the existing data. So we will start out with displaying the data that we have already stored in our database. So we want to set user in here to of user. Then we want to say this form description is equal to user description. This form website is equal to website. The same for the username and the same for the name. And there you go. Now we have that pre-filled in. And then we want to create a submit function in here. The first thing we want to do is say this form validate. The second thing we can go ahead and ensure is that down here at the bottom we are using submit. Perfect. And then we want to just, again, for simplicity, set user to of user. And we want to say if this form profile photo path, in that case, we want to go ahead and say storage delete the profile photo path if it already exists. And then we want to go ahead and then say path equals this profile photo path store profile photos public folder. And then there we want to just update the profile photo with the new path. And then for the perform banner, we would not say this form banner path. You want to delete the banner. And then we want to just set and update that into banner photos. So these two are pretty similar, but just storing them in different locations. And then we just want to have the website name, description, and username updated here. And then we want to say this dispatch update profile page, this height. And we're calling this height using the is model trait. And 
And then if we head back into our profile page, in this case, it would be the edit profile page. We just need to call this listener here. So that's the one we're calling essentially by calling this here. So it refreshes the component. So let's go ahead and see what happens if I change this to Taylor123. Taylor123. And it doesn't seem to save. And that's probably because we actually want to submit the form here, saying why submit, submit. And now we're getting an error here, so let's see what's going on. And that's because we've changed URL here, so that's another issue we need to fix. So before we go down here, we want to have an if this form username, it's not the same as username, then we want to redirect to the form username. So if we go back here now and say Taylor12, didn't seem to redirect there, so we will just go back. All right, so first thing we want to go ahead and check in here is just the item this form username. Check if we get there first and foremost. Doesn't look like it, so. We need to essentially check this before. So we want to have user username set here. Because otherwise we are checking the same value because we've already updated it here. So we want to go ahead and say this original username to this form. Actually, we can go ahead and say, in this case, user username, because this will be the updated version. And then we want to go into web.php and it's called profile.show. So let's go ahead and make sure we go to profile.show instead. There we go. So now we can go ahead and change the data here. doesn't seem like it's storing the profile photo, but we can do that in the next video. But that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.